Hi there, Sober Crypto here. Okay, so at the moment it's Thursday evening, so I haven't done the claims on the xexchange.com. Uh, so what it will be, it will be the meta bonding and the fees, pools, rewards. And then on Friday, which will probably be later in this video, I'll do the farming rewards. I'm still not quite sure what my plan is this week. I'm really tempted. I mean, it sounds mad, but I'm really tempted to just turn everything into into mechs and possibly energize it for four years. Although I think that might be a daft idea. Yeah, I'm really not sure what my plan is this week. I, I, in a way, I really do want to get the overall energy up a lot, but I really don't want to lock up a load of tokens that are otherwise liquid. At the moment, the amount of liquid tokens there is eighteen dollars ten. Um, so let's do this claim here. Normally, do the meta bonding first, but let's do this first. So it's eleven dollars and four cents worth of X Max there. Okay, and then there's the meta bonding to do. So that didn't change there. So it's just X Max we were getting. Okay, so that's claim all rewards. Okay, so back on the home page. Liquid tokens are now worth $52. It's not amazing, is it? Okay, so it's Friday evening now, and I've kind of slept on this. Uh, not even had a drink for three days, and uh, I think I've come to the conclusion that I want to concentrate on the Zoipay e-gold farming over on the Zoipay platform. Because if I get my watch list in TradingView and I kind of sort it by you know percentage change, uh, Zoidpay eGold is actually the worst pair on there, and Zoidpay is kind of there as well, about one cent again. So I think my plan is is to see what Zoidpay have got, uh, swap everything else into eGold, and make Zoidpay eGold liquidity, and then probably put that into the super farm. I might even put some in the one farm again. I don't know. We'll have a look. We'll see what there is. So first of all, I'm going to go over to the farms anyway and claim whatever I can. So let's do that here on Zoidpay. So I'm going to claim this uh, this Zoidpay here from the super farm. See I like this because that's $46 worth of stuff that you know I could spend straight away if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. I'm going to wait till it's at least 10 times what it's worth today. And I'm sure it will be. So there's that. The one I can't claim at the moment but I can claim from the shopping pool. That's worth $10.53. And there was a tweet from Edward the other day saying that um, all shopping pool owners will get for free the premium tier of Zoidpay, like the Zoidpay card when, when it's available, which is really nice. I mean, I really do think having a shopping pool is a good thing. A lot of people don't know at the moment, and I think the negativity is one of the reasons... I feel the urge to be quite invested in it. Anyway, so that's that there. Now, I have had some requests to do some tutorials about this, but apparently the new DEX is coming very, very soon, I think in December. So there's not a lot of point, really. I think the new one's going to be easy to use. So uh, yeah, I'll, well, I'll do it when we've got the new one. Okay, so claim the stuff anyway. Okay, so it's going to be $100 of x -Max, little bits of other stuff. $8 of XMEX there, $4 of wrapped e gold. Okay, let's have it anyway. Okay, so there's the usual billion transactions to sign. Let's see if this uh, position jumps up. I doubt if it will. Jumped up by one place. I'm going to update the energy while I'm here. Now, I believe all that does is just informs the decks that you've increased the amount of XMEX you've got. Okay, so let's have a look what liquid tokens I've got. Okay, I've got $122 worth of stuff which includes $64 of Zoidpay. So it's about right, isn't it? If I turn everything into e-gold that isn't Zoidpay, it'd be about the same in dollar. So let's do that. Okay, so things like the cyber, you know, swap that into e-gold. I'll skip through the video at this bit. It'll be basically anything worth more than a dollar. I'll turn it into e-gold. Now at this point I got a bit bored making the video and I thought there's got to be something better than what I'm doing at the moment. So I had a word 
with my old mate Raris, who is on holiday at the moment in New York, and he suggested some ideas to me that were quite interesting, and one of them involves using Hatton Protocol and actually using the Hatton app, which I don't at the moment. So I might scrap all my plans and do something different next week. I think for the time being, I will make the liquidity for the Zoid Pay. But I think as of next week, I'm going to stop re-energising my XMEX and I'm going to concentrate on getting better rewards for my liquid tokens. Now, this is quite a drastic step for me. And I think the reason is, is that I'm not 25 years old or not 20 years old. You know, I haven't got the rest of my life like years and years and years to keep having locked tokens. So I think I need to start a kind of exit plan, which is about four years in the future. But I think it's going to start next week. How do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments because, yeah, I need to do something about this and it's going to start next week. So if you want to know about that, then please do make sure you subscribe, make sure you've got the notifications set on all, leave a nice comment, do like the video, obviously, and above all, tell your friends.